Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Netflix Spoiler Box 2, or Nemesis Prime. I don't understand why they call this the Spoiler Box when they're going to put an image of Nemesis right there on the side, but oh well, it is what it is. So here's what the box looks like. You got Transformers, War for Cybertron, Siege, spoilers inside, but the spoiler is right there on the side with some fantastic artwork of Nemesis Prime. Back of the box, pretty much exactly the same. Spoilers inside. And that's about it. So now without further ado, let's get this box open and see if it surprises me. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Nemesis Prime, I'll open it out of the packaging. You'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with his rifle, a red sword, his Battlemaster Giza, which is a sword that actually transforms into a bird-type transformer, two big double-barreled cannons, Fangtron, who is a repaint of Earthrise Slitherfang, a hot pink blast effect, and the nastiest freaking dipping sauce I have ever tried in my entire life. Now, the dipping sauce is some sort of compound, kind of smells like Play-Doh, and I believe there's something in here. So let me see if I can get this out. That is in there, that is in there pretty good. Yep, there's something in there. If I can get to it. Of course, it's all the way at the bottom. What is that? Oh, you get three little Energon cubes. Now I've got that crap all over me. So I need to go wash my hands so I can finish shooting this review. The next thing we're going to look at in this set is Fangtron. Now Fangtron here is a repaint of Slitherfang, though Fangtron is made out of solid plastic, where Slitherfang here is the translucent plastic. Though I'm not a big fan of his hot pink looking color scheme, though I do like the black and red there. It kind of looks like the Cobra symbol. Now, Slitherfang has a very, very simple transformation. You just bring this chest piece up, fold the head up, straighten the tail, fold this section in, bring this around, and now Slitherfang is a ramp section or shield. So that's pretty much it for Fangtron. If you want to see a full review of this figure, take a look at my Slitherfang review up in the link above. Now let's take a look at Nemesis Prime himself. Now Nemesis here is a repaint. The cab section and main robot is a repaint of Siege Optimus Prime, while the trailer is a repaint of Earthrise Optimus Prime's trailer. 
and they actually look really, really good together. I like the trailer with the Siege cab. It kind of gives him a war machine look, kind of a Goliath from Knight Rider, if you will. The color scheme is fantastic. I love the red, the black, the silver, the teal, the purple. I've always been a fan of Nemesis Prime's color scheme, and I think this really, really works. The front of that vehicle just looks amazing with all that translucent red. I love it. This thing looks badass. Now, he doesn't really have much clearance in trailer mode because the hitch port is way up here where it should be down on this area, but it is what it is. It still displays pretty well once you get hooked in. You just can't do turns. Now, taking a look at the trailer, as I said, this is Earthrise Optimus Prime's trailer. You can open it up, and it's pretty plain. Lots and lots of molded details, but very plain on the inside. You've got the little repair drone right here. That was the same as in Earthrise Optimus Prime, or the same that came with our Earthrise Optimus Prime. Just everything is all in black. I really, really hope Toy Hacks comes up with something to improve this set. So that is pretty much it for the trailer. Now, real quick, you can take Fangtron and attach him to the back of Nemesis's trailer, like so. So you got that going on. So there's a little interactivity right there. Now I'm going to go over Nemesis Prime's accessories, and this is where I start to get a little bit disappointed with this figure. We've got the double-barreled cannons here, the big red sword, and the Battlemaster Giza. Now first off, looking at Giza, this is a pretty cool looking sword, and as I showed earlier, you split it apart, and it transforms into this pretty cool looking bird transformer. Now, my complaint with this, well, actually, my complaint with all of these weapons is these are the exact same weapons that came with the power of the Prime's Nemesis Prime a couple years back. The only difference with the new set is these are lighter color than the Power of the Prime's version. And bringing in the Giza sword, let me get him transformed back into sword mode here so you can see a little bit better on camera. I like the darker color on the Power of the Primes version, and the Power of the Primes version has some paint applications. The red eyes right there, which really makes a big difference as far as the bird mode. It just adds some personality with some eyes. So I wish this one had some paint applications. Now moving on to the other weaponry. As you can see, these are the exact same, just darker colored. I do like the darker collar a lot better than the light gray. But let's go ahead and get the Power of the Primes weapons out of the way. And we'll go over the weapons with Nemesis. My complaint, these weapons cannot attach to the trailer. I would have loved if they would have remolded this trailer to have some weapon ports. There is nothing on the sides nor the top, so there's no way you can attach the weapons to the trailer. You can't even store everything within the trailer. Now, if we open this up one more time, you can take his blaster, and just like Earthrise Optimus Prime, the blaster can fit inside the trailer in a peg, but there is no way to attach these other weapons. The pegs are off to the side, and there's just, it doesn't fit. And even if you shut the trailer up, and try to get everything in here. Let's see. Two blasters, the sword, the Giza sword. You just, you can't get everything in. Well, actually, you can. So, yeah, if you cram everything in just right, there's your weapon storage. But, I mean, it's, it's a mess. So, I really wish they could have added some way to display the weaponry on the trailer. Now, if you just use the cab, you can attach the big blasters down here on the sides. And I just got a message. So you've got that going on, which doesn't look bad, but you can't 
attach the trailer. So if you just want to have a armored up cab, you have that option. Now you can also peg these double barrel cannons on top of the cab, like so, but that looks a little stupid. So that is my only real complaint with the figure. A lot of great accessories, but they're just reuses and you can't really utilize them in vehicle mode. Now let's take a closer look at Nemesis Prime's cab mode. I love the looks of this. This thing looks awesome. This is a great repaint, a great use of the color scheme. The black really makes all the molded details really pop, and that translucent red just really adds to the evilness of the character. It looks really, really good. Now here is Nemesis Prime compared to the Siege 35th Anniversary Prime, and as you can see, the exact same mold, just with a different color scheme, and I think that looks great. That is an awesome reuse of the Siege mold. Now let's take a look at Nemesis Prime in robot mode. In robot mode, Nemesis Prime looks amazing. As I've said over and over again, I love the paint scheme on this figure. Taking a closer look at him, loving the head sculpt. Those evil red eyes just work with the black helmet, the silver mask, the red translucent chest panels, the blue up here for the lights. This guy just looks awesome. I love the looks of this figure. I've always loved the looks of Nemesis Prime. I just cannot say that enough. And now we'll bring in Siege Optimus Prime so you can take a quick look and comparison. Now my Siege Optimus Prime has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. That's why I'm really hoping that Toy Hacks can do something for Nemesis Prime here as well. Also, as I showed earlier, Nemesis does have his rifle and it is also the exact same weapon that comes with Siege Optimus Prime. So there you have Nemesis and Siege Optimus Prime together. And like I said, that repaint really, really works. In robot mode, you can actually attach all of the accessories that he came with, unlike vehicle mode. You can take the double barrel cannons and they will attach right here on the forearms. There's pegs right there at the elbow. Get the double barrel cannons attached. And of course you have the sword, put that in his hand. That's a little tight fit right there. And we've got the Giza sword, which will go in his left hand. And then you can take his blaster and attach it right there on his back. So there you have Nemesis Prime all armed and ready for battle. And this guy looks like he is ready to kick some ass. But here is another complaint of mine. I think all of these weapons are just a little too big for this figure. I wish <clears throat> they scaled them down just slightly to make them more in scale with this version of the figure. I think they're just a little too big. Now, another issue right here on the back of Nemesis Prime, he's got those ports that are off to the side. So if you're going to attach the repair drone, it's going to be off to the side opposed to the middle how Earthrise Optimus Prime was. So let me zoom that out. So you now have that going on. So that is a lot of junk on that figure. But all in all, it's really, really not bad. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Netflix Nemesis Prime with Generation 1 Megatron, Power of the Prime's Nemesis Prime, and see what I mean about the weapons? They look so much better on a larger figure. Robots in Disguise Scourge, and by viewer request, here's Nemesis Prime with Siege Sound Blaster and Red Wing. The Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Netflix Nemesis Prime is a great repaint of an existing figure. I can't say this enough. I love the Nemesis Prime color scheme and it really, really works combining the Siege figure with the Earthrise trailer. 
That being said, you also get a lot of bang for your buck with this figure. You get the Optimus Prime, you get the trailer, you get Fangtron, and you get all those accessories. Now, that's where my issue is. I wish there was some slight remolds to the trailer to allow the weaponry to attach, and I wish the weaponry was scaled down slightly instead of being a flat-out reuse of existing weapons from a much larger figure. But still, this is a great addition to your collection, especially if you're a Nemesis Prime fan. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Netflix spoiler pack with Nemesis Prime belong in your collection? Well, to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed with this set. Not with the figure. I think the figure is a great repaint, and I've got no problem with repaints. I mean, look at all the Seekers I have back there. My issue is with all the weaponry. The weapons are just reuses of weapons that we already got with the Power of the Prime's Nemesis Prime. I mean, they're the exact same ones, and they just really don't work on this figure. They're way too big. They should have been scaled down slightly to fit this smaller figure better. That being said, I also wish the figure was retooled a little bit, especially the trailer. It would have been awesome if these big double barrel cannons could attach to that trailer to really give the vehicle mode some firepower. Plus, there's no paint applications on these weapons that was on the Nemesis Prime from the Power of the Primes figure, and I just find it lacking in that aspect. I mean, it looks okay, but it could have been better. And Fangtron, he's just way too pink for my like. So if you see this guy on the shelf and you're a Nemesis Prime, by all means, pick him up. You're gonna enjoy him, but for the rest of us, I'd wait and get this guy on clearance. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!